Hey everybody, welcome to my plus size grandma Ooh-ooh. with Miss Coco Bowden. Y'all, it's a day of back to work. As you know, I work from home, so <sighs> didn't really have to go out, but I do, do have to do a lot of scheduling and stuff. Um, I came home for a little bit yesterday. I didn't get a chance to finish what I was saying, and I didn't forgot what I was saying. But happy New Year to all. What I'm doing today is really just getting back in the feel of things because you know I really haven't worked like I should have um, since last year. I was working, you know, kind of part time, but now I think I'm ready to go back into full time media and and get back on my grind. Get back, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. My focus is gonna be making some money. Well, wait a minute. Let me say it like this for people take it the wrong way. But my focus is going to be to continue to help people first. Well, put God first and continue to help people. And my second focus is going to be me. And then it's going to be like my family, my money, and then relationships, you know. But mainly I want to, you know, just get back in the line with making my money, y'all. I miss my money. (laughs) I miss my money. And some people may think it's bad to just want some money, but I want some money. I got to get back to making some money. So that's what I'm doing today is writing out my business plan for 2019 and um, everything that I'm going to need to get and do in order to accomplish my goals for 2019. And this year, I'm going to focus more on the short-term goals, just trying to really get those short-term goals in perspective because you know having to still go to the therapist and stuff I don't want to overwhelm myself but yet I don't want to you know put myself in a comfort zone where I don't get out and do anything you know or just do what feels comfortable I want to push myself 2019 like I've never pushed myself before so I am very excited about that and um I'm just here at the table writing out some things, um, some things I would like to see happen in my shows, some some more comedy sketches that I would like to do for Auntie and Niecy, because I really do, I, I really think my knack is in so, in so many areas, I have so many gifts and talents that I have to make sure that I'm using everything in the season that God has given me, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes we can jump ahead and sometimes we don't jump far enough. So I want to make sure that I'm still in the will of God as I'm producing these shows and getting to know more new people and stuff. Even in my dating life, you know, I'm going to put God in all of this. And those of you who don't like God, that's y'all's problem. But but I love the Lord and I know what he has done for me. So everything that I do, I'm going to make sure that I put God in it. And, um... That's the only way you can hold out is to know that you have someone on your side, regardless if you fall down, if you mess up or whatever. He's still there for you, letting you know that, hey, get back on course. It's just a mistake or something. I'm looking forward to that. And some of the things I'm doing now is, like, scheduling my shows. Like, as far as those with – um. As far as it goes with my plus size grandma, y'all know I'm random with my plus size grandma. I'm random. It's like whatever comes to mind, I'm going to come through whether it's every day or, you know, I did take a break these last three weeks because it's the end of the year and I have been going strong with that all year long. So, um, but it's, it's going to be amazing bringing the gospel shows back, um, bringing who's who. Who's Who, new new guest on Who's Who interviews with Miss Coco Bowden. Y'all know I do interviews. Um, if you want your product, if you want your product um, mentioned during my interviews or whatever, you know, pay your little fee and I'll do what I got to do. This year, I am more focused on being so strict with the things that I do for free. I'm not going to let nobody milk me like I have done in the past in the past 
I was dealing with some self-esteem issues and I felt like, well, my work isn't good enough to charge that amount or do that amount. But I'm feeling pretty confident in my work and I have seen my work go places that I never would have thought it would have went. So I'm not going to take less for who I am and what it is that God has given me to do. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it all belongs to him. And most likely, it's going to go all packed to him because when I do make lots of money or small amounts of money, I always like to share with people who don't have or, you know, need a hand here and there. I'm not rich or anything, but whatever I do have, I know that it doesn't last. So I'm not above, you know, using what I have to help others. And I still will work with people one on one because y'all, I do a lot. And, and that's what I'm saying. That's why I said I'm like scheduling now because my schedule got out of whack last year. I, I, I tried to keep it up and I did. I did really good considering the pressure I was under for the last two years. I did really good with it. But this year I need for it to be different. This year I need to push harder than I've ever pushed before. For one thing, I got some goals and some things that I need right now. I got some needs. These ain't wants. <laughs> I got some needs. You hear me? So I'm going to do what I can to push on out there and get these needs met. Um, it is 1.08 p.m. here in Candor, and I really have not ate anything today. Even though I did just finish my workout, y'all, my workout. Oh my goodness. You know how much focus you really gotta have to get up and just work out. It takes a lot. You have to be really determined that you're gonna win no matter what. So before I was just working out, you know, basically just trying to get my little baby in there. In as much alignment as I can so that I don't become stressed out with anything because as you know I am beating stress and my stress has came down tremendously so as far as my workout is going I am even including some more things into my workout this morning I did I did I pushed myself I said you know what let me see if I can do it and I actually lifted 20 pound weights this morning, so that was a blessing too. I lifted 20 pound weights instead of 10. I doubled up on them and just lifted those. And my exercise routine, I actually like it because I fit it around the things that I do. And it allows me to make that time for myself. You know, this is my time. When I'm on my plus size grandma reality podcast show, this is my time right here. The time that I, I'm taking for myself. Brother, it makes a dime or not. <laughs> this is just time I'm taking for myself. There's just some things money cannot buy. There's a lot of things that money cannot buy, and it cannot buy peace of mind. And that's the one thing that I'm going to always remember is that money cannot buy a mind. So I'm making sure that I have days in there that I'm going to be off days in there that I can just take time for myself. I'm, I'm working smarter and how can I say I'm working smarter, not harder. And I'm lessening my hours in some areas and so that I can improve and get everything in. You know, you just have to do that. This is the beginning of the year, so even though it may sound like my voice is real anxious, I'm not. I'm Woo, let me calm down. <laughs> let me calm down cuz I think I was getting anxious up there a little bit a little bit over excited. But this is the new time of the year when I can just come out and write out the things that I need to do and that I want to see done. And in order to accomplish that, I got to keep a level head. I got to keep a good, clear mindset, which means getting up every day, repenting, praying, um, you know, just having my time with God 
and knowing that if I don't get this done in this day, I'm not going to beat myself up for it, but I'm going to try harder the next day. You know, so it's all about, you know, just getting those boundaries set and stuff. And I'm so proud of myself, y'all. I'm going to tell y'all what I actually did New Year's. New Year's Day, I am a fan of no negativity. Because I know what it's like to be negative. I know what it's like to keep something going all the freaking time. And just so happened, a couple of people came through and they had some issues going on. But there was nothing I could do to help them with their issues. And at this point, I didn't even want to hear the issues. So I just humbly, just as nice as could be, just looked at them and said, I'm not interested in your conversation. (laughs) I just said, I'm not interested in your conversation because I wasn't. I was having a good time. I didn't need a spoiler. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we got family members that just spoil everything. Because they can never focus on anything good. And in this particular moment, New Year's, I was in my praise mode. I was happy. I was like, I ain't let nothing in that's not supposed to be in. I was thankful because God changed my life in 2018. A lot of things became new that was old. He woke up some good things in me. And he woke up some bad things in me that needed to come out. So. I wasn't taking New Year's Day, those 365 days, for granted. I went through a lot, but I survived. So what makes you think I want to hear anything about any other bad news or something, you know, just from people who are busybodies? I'm I'm limiting my time with the busybodies. I just told my son a while ago, me and my son were talking, and, you know, um, he's in the process of getting himself together as well. And we're here together now. Me and him are here together now. And, and you know, I just told him, I said, I got to stop conversating with some of the people who are just negative because I can't get anything out of it. I can't get anything out of it. It drains me when I get around people who just have negative conversations. So um, I just had to shut it down. Y'all, I still have not found my music yet um, for my things and stuff. So, but I am. Trust me, I am. It's not going to be like this too much longer as soon as I get everything in order. But, yeah, I just had to shut down those negative conversations because I'm like, no, I'm not doing this with you. And I'm not. Um, There were some friendships I had to let go of. Not that I don't love the people, but I just felt like every time... I try to talk with them and stuff. It was just draining. I mean, just talking about normal stuff, like going to do things was draining. And so I didn't, I don't, I don't want to feel like that in 2019. And I have every right to want to be happy, to want to be free. I have every right to just do me, do me, do me. And I'm not saying that I'm cutting everybody loose, but for the majority, I'm cutting a lot of people loose because I lost too much time and focus on them and didn't get a chance to do the things that I really need to do. But now toward the end of 2018, when October 10th came, that was the opening of my eyes. Like a, 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 It was like I woke up one day and I just knew that if I didn't get some help, I wasn't going to survive the rest of the year. I knew I was getting sick. I can happily say that I'm well now except for this cough. Um, I got around that pet dander and it got to me. I cannot do pet dander, y'all. If y'all got animals, listen. I love your animals and I love you, but I'm I can't do your dander. It strikes up my allergies really bad, so I'm on steroids for that. Um, so that's an extra buck. <laughs> but yeah, um, I got. Sick in 2018, October, after going through so much. So why would I let any...